uh, with us here is uh, the Dr. Jacques Neria. Good evening to you. Good evening. Um, you've just been to Morocco uh, been like, yes. with a small delegation. Uh, tell us about it. Well, you know, th this was the first meeting between two th think tanks. The, the one called the Policy Center of the New South. This is the Moroccan one, where, which is a think tank that's very close to the king and uh, very inf influential in Morocco and uh, uh, very high the, uh, the level uh, delegation. Uh, we met and discussed uh, several subjects. One and uh, the, the first one was the involvement of Iran in uh, Western Africa and in Africa at, uh, uh, and at all. And then we spoke about the Abraham Accords and their, uh, the eventual uh, try to, uh, to enlarge the, 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 the club. And the third, we, we spoke about the implication of the Ukraine crisis on the energy, uh, energy sector, certainly on uh, And GM. Western Sahara. And the Western Sahara, the, the, look, I, I have, my first job in, in the army, in the intelligence, was responsible of North Africa, Sudan. So I know the Western Sahara very well. All right. And the Western Sahara, you must consider the Western Sahara to be the birthplace of the, uh, of the Kingdom of Morocco. And this is how the Morocco, now the, how the, the, the monarchy looks at the, the, the Western Sahara. And uh, in 1974, when uh, the Spain gave it back to, uh, to Morocco, the king, the first thing he did was sending the, what, what was called the Green Parade, the Green March, the thousands of Moroccans who went into the, the Sahara. So help me out here now. Israel officially. Does it recognize Western Sahara as Morocco or not? Israel was very instrumental in the uh, it came i mean that you, you must understand that the normalization between israel and morocco didn't come out of the blue and it was because of the intervention of two of our delegation dr gold and dr shapira inter alia who just uh, lobbied uh, to the in the in the united states so the united states uh, uh, came with a proposal, we will recognize the Western Sahara if you, you normalize your relations with Israel. This is, this, this is, what, this is what's happened. Deal. It means very, very clearly that Israel is with Morocco. There's no, there's no doubt about it. And uh, uh, the Minister of Interior said it plainly, and Dr. Gold said it also in his meeting with, the, with the, uh, Nasser Bouita, Minister of Foreign Affairs. So there's no doubt. The problem is that we have to face now the subversive actions of Iran in Algeria, aiding the Polisarius, sending Hezbollah operatives to train and to arm and to finance uh, Polisario. This is what, uh, what the Moroccans are facing right now. And, uh, uh, and as the, the, the doctor said uh, very clearly, there's also the other side. What, how to prepare in order to defend uh, Morocco. Right. Now, we, we've mentioned the uh, Minister of uh, Interior, uh, who is a right-wing politician here in Israel. And I was wondering if uh, maybe the right-wing politicians in Israel look at this uh, and actually seeing the West Bank, uh, not the Western Sahara, if you know what I mean. You know, M Morocco has always been a very special place and had always a soft spot uh, uh, in, the, in the heart of our politicians. I remember 1993, Rabin sent me to meet the king, and I sat with the king. I was supposed to meet with him for 15 minutes. I sat almost an hour speaking about the situation, about that. There's a lot of affinity between Israel and Morocco, and, and, and this is what, uh, what uh, the Moroccan deserves in, in, uh, in, in, a, in a way. And from our point of view, we have an ultimate, uh, an, uh, a paramount uh, interest of having good relations with Morocco because, I mean, the, because of the, we, we are in a very bad neighborhood, if you remember so. Yeah, I think I've heard about it. But I, again, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think whether there's any, you know, quid pro quo here with uh, right-wing politicians in Israel who are saying, oh, well, the Moroccans want that land, we want that one. History, you know I mean? history of our relations has proven since the beginning 
that our relations are not dependent on who is the, uh, right now in power in Israel. It doesn't matter the, the uh, left or right, the relations with Morocco were kept all the time very, very closely and very, very, very you know, very minute, minute because this was really special. And we don't forget that the king of Morocco is the head of the Islamic, the, uh, of the Islamic committee about Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. He has a say on Jerusalem. So we have to be, you know, to, to consider all the elements and say the uh, and uh, and say the finally that uh, our relations with Morocco has to be taken out of the context of politics in Israel. It has nothing to do with it. It has it is pure in, uh, pure interest. And you see, you know, the plane when it landed in Rabat. You know, the, I, I believe that uh, the, uh, most of the plane were uh, Moroccan-born uh, or the, uh, from Moroccan origin. You should have the heard excitement, huh? the excitement and, the, uh, and the, the shouting, oh, we are in Morocco, we are back, we are back. It's crazy. Yeah. So this, yeah. Is, this is the emotional uh, the dimension. Special we have. relationships, that, yes. that's for sure. Uh, Dr. Nouria, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.